Well, hey you guys, good morning and welcome back to the Canning Nana. So as you can see, I am feeling a lot better today. Um, I have a lot more energy and the corn has already started. Um, I am a little bit late. It is 11.16, <laughs> but it's in the pot and I am going to process the corn. Um, I'm going to be doing canned corn. I'm going to show you guys every step of the way how to do that because it's a little bit um, not so much tricky, but it's a process uh, canning corn that you really, really have to be uh, careful about because corn is so dense and you need to make sure that it cans for the significant amount of time um, that's allotted for corn uh, because of its density. So you just need to be careful with corn, that's all, and follow the steps. And it's super easy, um, but there's multiple steps to do it. So really really easy though don't let me scare you off okay I can corn um, every year except for the last two uh, due to moving and stuff but um, it's it's super easy you guys I promise and then the corn cob jelly video will be coming once I get all of this corn processed and start processing the cobs and I will show you guys all of that along the way um, I want to thank all of you guys for being so kind and compassionate um, and for all of your prayers yesterday, it, it really touched my heart. Um, the outpouring of love that I got yesterday on my channel, um, emails. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It, it, a lot of you said that, you know, my health comes first, videos can wait. And I really, really appreciate that. I really do. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Um, I'm glad I'm feeling better. I did have a video conference with my doctor this morning and um, we're prescribing some more stuff to get me going a little bit better. But I, I do, I'm, I'm almost, I, I would say I'm about 85% better. Um, doing really good, not in pain anymore, just a little bit tired. So, um, but I'm doing good. So, um, with that said, we are going to finish this up um, and get going. The problem with that I have with you know not feeling good is that I bought all of this produce and stuff and um, and then I've got garden stuff waiting for me and I've got to I've got to do those I've got to roast those hatch peppers you guys um, so I, you know all of that stuff would go bad if I don't get to it so that's the problem I know you guys would wait for videos and I don't want to keep you waiting I committed to this jamboree the August jamboree collab and. Um, I am very, very grateful that I've been included in this. Um, I've now been included in a, quite a few other collabs that um, other channels have contacted me and I'm so thankful and um, very appreciative of people reaching out like that. I really appreciate it. Um, I do have a collab for this month as well called Garden to Pantry and um, I do have some people joining me on that throughout this month. Um, a lot of the same people with the Jamboree, there, there's quite a few people in that in mine. Um, and so canning corn is going to be the first thing. So this Garden to Pantry uh, collab is not only going to be from garden, so it could be from local farms, it could be your store. It's more garden fresh produce and how to preserve it. So um, pantry will mean canned food, dehydrated food. Um, some people has a, have a freeze dryer, which is amazing. Um, I just joined Thrive Life, so um, I will have freeze dried food as well to add to my food storage. And I did just join as a consultant, so if any of you guys are interested, they've got 30% off for the month of August, which is amazing, you guys. Really, really amazing. Really brings the price down um, by being a subscriber and having a, a monthly subscription. Uh, you get awesome prices anyway, but this 30% through August, oh wow. So I'm stocking up, and if anybody's interested, I'm going to put links in all of my videos. Um, the link will be in here uh, probably a little bit later on this video, but really good stuff. Um, I've been using it for, gosh, probably started about 21 years ago, 22 years ago, um, but I've never sold it. I've never been a consultant for it. Um, I am a consultant for quite a few other things, but nothing like this. So um, I think that this fits in perfectly with my um, my 
videos, my canning, my food preserving, my self-reliance, and it's really important to get uh, food storage going, especially nowadays um, with shortages and things. So you don't want to be um, left out, you know, it's hard to find foods and you can have them in your pantry. Um, I am going to be doing meals in jars with the Thrive Life Foods because I really used to love doing that. Um, and you really can't do that with dehydrated, um, although I do, but when I give it away as gifts, I always have like a little card, a recipe card saying add this meat or add this dairy, whatever, you know, so now I can add everything in the jars and give it away in one one jar all completely ready and I'm really really excited to bring you guys along for those videos as well. Um, so here's the corn. I'm gonna get started finishing this. It's about ready to come out. I'm just blanching it and um, watch for videos you guys. There's going to be multiple ones coming out today. I'm really excited and um, I know I think you can hear in my voice that I feel a lot better and I'm more energetic getting there and thank you thank you thank you to all of you guys because you really helped you really really helped i appreciate it i preach appreciate all of my subscribers that have been with me from the beginning and all of them who have been with me um, or have joined recently i've had a lot of new subscribers welcome welcome to my channel you guys we're gonna have a really good time and if there's anything you guys want to see um please email me at the canning nana at gmail.com um, I know I've got a lot of emails come through. Um, I've been notified, but I haven't had a chance to get to them since yesterday morning because I've been on the phone doing business um, the last couple days and then trying to get in with my doctor and stuff again. So um, just be patient with me. I will try to get to all of those emails uh, this afternoon once I'm done processing all of this food that I have. Um, so lots and lots of videos coming, you guys. Um, so let's do a word of the day. Pantry. Pantry will be the word of the day on this video, okay? So remember Friday, um, I will be doing a live and we're gonna go through a lot of stuff and we are going to be giving away some things. And I have decided to give away a few jars of corn cob jelly because a lot of you guys have said you've never tried it and I do encourage you to try it um, after watching my video, but I am going to give away some corn cob jelly. So um, that's gonna be one of the giveaways. So I got these awesome little hexagon jars. They just came in yesterday. I'm really excited. Got some more jars coming in today. Um, and those are gonna be what I'm giving away, the corn cob jelly. So I'm probably gonna be giving away several of those. Um, for those who have not tasted it, or even those who have, I mean, everybody's corn cob jelly is going to be a little bit different. Um, it does taste like honey, and the longer you keep it on the shelf, the better it gets. So um, I'll explain all of that in my corn cob jelly video to come, and um, I'm going to get started, you guys, because this is done. <laughs> okay, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.